hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here let me introduce myself quickly my name is pooja shekhar i'm a fashion designer and an illustrator i make fashion and fashion education content on youtube so if you are interested in such content please hit the subscribe button i'm making a series on my channel where i'll help you to create fashion illustration using your android phone for free you do not need to buy any subscription to create digital illustration there are already two videos up on my channel regarding this topic the first video is about the basics of autodesk sketchbook where i have explained the basic details about the application please do check it so that you can have the brief knowledge about the application and in second part i have explained how to draw fashion croquis easily on your phone so in this video we are going to use the same croquis that we have created previously so here we are going to draw an outfit on this croquis so let's start today's video so the croquis is ready now we need an inspiration or a reference outfit so that i can explain easily that what i'm trying to do so let's click on add photo icon and then we can take out the reference image onto the canvas so that we can see that image and try to replicate the same while drawing on this croquis so i have selected this zendaya's outfit so first thing i'm going to do here is hide the hair layer the layer with where i have a drawn hair i'm going to hide it because it is not matching the reference hairstyle so we'll draw the hair according to the reference so next what i have done is i have changed the layer to the next layer so we should work on the other layer so yeah now we are good to go i'm selecting the pen tool and i'm adjusting the size of the pen tool and now we are ready i'm drawing the outfit on the croquis so we need to uh, draw similar to the reference image so whichever the image whichever image you have selected you need to draw the same outfit on the croquis it is as easy as drawing uh, with a pencil on a paper and the best part about digital applications is that you can undo your actions at any point of time so that you can correct your drawing so and the best part about autodesk sketchbook is that you can rotate the canvas however you want and you can zoom in and zoom out here i am trying to match the reference image as much as possible and i would suggest you to have a reference picture and try to replicate it as much as possible Uh, so that you you can introspect yourself that how much accurately you are able to uh, make a sketch uh, how similar it is to the outfit so that you can improve your skill so i would always suggest you to go with a reference pic always uh, at least in the initial stage of your learnings uh, once you are perfect in replicating the reference images then you can start working on your own designs so that you can communicate well with your uh, sketches the main purpose of fashion illustration is communicating your ideas communicating your vision to the other person to the carriers so that you can bring your vision to real so it's better for you to learn it and master it as much as possible by practicing it well so having a reference in the initial stage is the best thing to do so practice as much as possible now we are done with the outlining of the outfit we need to add the color to the outfit so i'm clicking on the color icon and then using the pick color tool to select the exact color that we need to add in the outfit and after that as we all know we need to select the add color icon and i'm adding the color to the outfit in the same way let's add the second color choosing the color from the pick tool and then adding the color and you just noticed that the color has been spread all over the canvas due to this small gap in the drawing so what do we need to do right now is go back to black color and select pen tool which we have used previously draw this so then join this and then i'm going to add the color now the color is perfect so this thing we need to keep in mind while drawing so that we don't spread the color to other part if you observe there is a slight difference or variations in the shades of yellow in the outfit so i am just making sure i i can show that 
slight difference of color due to the fabric because there is a shimmer fabric on the top and then there is a plain satin kind of silk kind of fabric at the bottom so just to show that i am giving a slight difference in the shades of yellow so after doing that let's add the shadows and detailings to the outfit i'm selecting airbrush tool and then let's add the shadow and i have explained the same process in while doing crocky also so the similar procedure goes here also so just add the shadow wherever it needed you can you can have a look at the reference image so that you will get an idea like where the folds occur where the shadows needs to be added As you can see I am not using the same size of the brush to add the shadows I am changing the size and the opacity and uh, please make sure like it comes with practice so that you can practice it and you, you will know like where to add the bigger size of the shadow and where to add the smaller detail so it comes with pure practice so please practice it as much as possible I used black on the purple to create a shadow effect but I cannot use the black on yellow black is too dark for yellow so what I'm doing right now is selecting the darker shade of yellow and doing the same process adding folds and shadows to the outfit is done now I'm adding ears to my croquis so that I can replicate the same hairstyle which is there in the reference image and I've added the color to the ear exactly as the croquis color by using the pick color tool. Now I'm adding the hairstyle so I'm trying to match the hairstyle in the reference image. So I have added the hairstyle but I'm not happy with the a place where ears have been drawn so if i want to change the placement i i'm just selecting the layer where i have drawn the ears and then i'm trying to move them according to my requirement so this is the best part about drawing things on different layers so that you can move it now i'm moving the hair part also because i have drawn the hairstyle on the other layer so i'm trying to get it down as well yeah now the hairstyle and the ears and everything looks perfect to me so with this we have completed adding outfit to the croquis hope you guys understood the process and i hope this video was informative for you i'm making this series so that nothing can stop you from creating amazing fashion illustrations you do not require any fancy device to create such illustrations trust your creativity trust your instinct and just go for it please practice it as much as possible if you have any doubts and any query regarding the application or any other things you can please comment it and i can reach out to you and solve those queries thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel i'll be making more such videos thank you bye bye